Hi everyone, it's Lily here and today's video I'm going to do another draw with me. Um, so we are going to try and draw a very cute Highland cow today. So what we're going to do to start with is we're going to start just penciling out the outline. So I mean everybody does it differently um, but what I kind of do is just work on the basic shape. So if I turned the head into a basic shape it would kind of look like an upside down egg and then the body is kind of just basically a big chunky rectangle and then I've got some other <laughs> rectangles as legs okay I know this looks a bit rubbish to begin with Hopefully you can see it because I'm doing it quite faint so that it's easy to rub out. And then I've got ears coming out the side. And then this is where the horns would be. I'm just going to move that slightly. The horns would be there. Okay, so now is a fun bit where we can start making it look a bit more like a Highland cow. So, the top of his head here, I can see it almost makes a heart, the top of a heart shape. So, almost like an M. So, it goes up, down a little, then up again. So, I'm just going to make mine do that. Then, I know down here on the mouth, we've got his nose, which is quite a big feature of the Highland cow. So, let's add that in. So it's kind of a rectangle, but then we almost make it into an X shape. So imagine there's an X. We then need to take out this side of the X and this side of the X. Yeah. And then curve round. And then underneath here is this little neck. So I'm just going to add that in. And then I'm going to attach the legs, so stop it looking like a rectangle, to the body by just continuing the line slightly of the rectangle. And same with that one. Same with that one, I might make it a little bit higher. And the belly dips a little bit, so I'm going to curve this bottom line. And then do the same with this rectangle. And then this leg is hidden behind, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw the rectangle like this and give it a little bit of a curve there and then what we need to do is curve his bum because it's quite a strong rectangle at the minute so I'm just going to curve this round there we go right and now the fun bit of what we need to do is we need to make him nice and hairy because highland cows are hairy so what I'm going to do is just start to add in some hair you could do this in colour again if you wanted. You don't have to do it in black and white. But I'm just going to... And his eyes are hidden under here. So, so I don't need to worry about them. I just need to get the hair looking right. And then he's got very fluffy ears as well. So to make them fluffy, all I'm doing is drawing little lines around the um, shapes I've already drawn for his ears. Hopefully you can see that. And it already is making it look fluffy. I'm just going to keep adding little lines to represent the fur. And follow the shape so I can see that the lines are all brushing this way and that way. So I'm just going to add those in. Same over here. It's already starting to look like a Highland cow, if you ask me. Add a bit more fluffiness to the ears. I think fluffy ears is very important to making your Highland cow look very cute. And then you just need to work your way around the whole Highland cow to make him look fluffy. And then if any areas on your photo, make sure you have a photo in front of you because it will really help. If any of your areas on your photo are darker, that's where it's shaded. So that's when we need to add in a bit more pencil. 
So I'm just gonna shade this whole leg to begin with and then start making it look hairy or fluffy. Fluffy sounds nicer than hairy, doesn't it? There we go, just keep adding and take your time. I'm going quite quickly just so that I can get through the whole video with you guys, but take your time with this. And if you really take your time, if I just do a little section, you'll really, and keep moving from one point, you'll really start to get the suggestion of hair. You see how I'm using the pencil marks to make the suggestion of fur. And if I did this the whole way round, you'd start to look really furry, which is exactly what we want. And same with the legs, you just need to carry on the fur start at the top I'm just kind of doing a little bit of each area so you can see I know that I kind of want my ears to stick out so I'm going to add a little bit of shading behind them so that they poke out and the same with the horns there we go and then if I start adding my shading Starting to look very fluffy. Try and make his head a little bit bigger because it's a little bit small at the moment. That's okay. You can just work with it. He's got quite a big belly, so I'm just getting those marks in to show that. And same around the back of the legs. going and do the same with this leg and yeah just keep shading it and keep adding the fur in till your legs um body are all furry and then with your horns all you need to do is just add a little bit of shading to the bottom of them and let that come all the way up to the top point and then I just strengthen the line there. And same on this side, shade around the bottom of it. Back into the light and then just add a, strengthen that line. There you go. So that was a very, very quick tutorial on how to draw a Highland cow. You need to add and finish the bottom legs and finish adding in all the fur here because it's not quite finished yet. And what I do is this one you can't see his feet, but if you could see his feet, draw in his feet. But if not, just add some grass around him and put him into place. 
so that he looks like he stood up rather than floating on your page. And just keep adding that grass in. I'm just using little tiny marks to replicate what the grass looks like. And there, there we go. Give it a go and let me know.